we're gonna grill some meatloaf and it's gonna be so am good getting the coals ready we like to use the chimney to uh light the coals opposed to water fluid Took this pack of bacon, just let the bacon gather and laid it on there. Not on the direct heat. Now we got about a three pound pack of ground beef. You're gonna press it out to a rectangular shape. And try to make sure it's even in all spots. Uh, a tip is to dampen the prep area with water or use wax paper so that it won't stick when you gotta roll it up. After you get it all pressed out, you're going to brush on your, your sauce of choice. We chose Heinz 57 for this one. Brush it all the way to the edges evenly. Um, you can use a marinara, barbecue, ketchup, whatever you got you want to use. But just be sure you get it all over there real good. Slather her up. seasoning. We call this duck secret seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice. Put it on there even and all over. This smells good. <laughs> we got some finely chopped onions here. Sprinkle them all over if you like onions. Now you can really use whatever you want on this but if you like everything we got going on this, you want to try this recipe. Because it's so am good. Finally diced it up. You put on the mushrooms. We use some canned mushrooms. Probably use some fresh mushrooms. Be just as good, not better. You can use fresh if you got them. Get my all messed up. Now we're going to put on green chilies. These are fire roasted. Fire roasted. Green chilies. Uh, chopped. Green chilies. They're not hot. They just got a hair flavor. Next, we're going to put on shredded cheese. We're using sharp cheddar this time. Uh, you can use any kind of cheese of your choice. I bet Pepper Jack does good. Uh, Overlong, Swiss, whatever it is you want. Just get a little help with keeping on there. Here's that bacon we smoked so earlier. Mr. Duck chopped it up real nice. It's got some good flavor. Ooh. You're going to take that extra, just four slices I told you to keep out. You keep those out and you lay them on top when you put it on the grill. Lay it on top of your roll. Go put the moisture in the tenders. Hot 
Now it's time to roll her up. Time to roll. Real careful. There we go. It's all mashed together. Tuck. Smush it up. Next, putting it on the grill. Here it is on the grill over indirect heat. You're going to cook it slow and low. It is so about halfway handy. done. A little over halfway. Ooh, can't wait to eat some of that. Done. Time to chow down. There's some taters over there on the direct heat. That one is. Here's the finished product. Y'all, yeah. when I tell y'all this stuff, show sure am good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lol. Hope you try it out. Let us know how you liked it. Follow us here on YouTube.